I'm gonna give you five mobile YouTube channel tips. So if you do anything related to YouTube on your mobile phone, you need to watch this video and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. And real quick, if you have a tip for making videos on your mobile phone or running your channel on your mobile phone or anything related to a YouTube channel on a mobile phone, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. I'm gonna pin the most helpful one. Okay, so there are a ton of people these days making videos on their phones. You might even be one of them. And for the rest of us, we're managing some part of our channel with our phone. So if you're making videos with your phone or if you're wanting to use your phone to kind of help you along with what it is that you're doing on YouTube, this video is gonna help you out. And it doesn't matter if you're on an iPhone or if you're on an Android, everything in this video can help you out. Number one, if you wanna do something on your phone that's typically only available on a computer, as an example, verifying your YouTube account or possibly maybe looking at your relative audience retention stats or one of the many other stats that are not available inside of the Creator Studio app that you actually need to access via a computer. All you have to do is open up your favorite browser on your phone, whatever it is that you happen to be using, and access your account through that in desktop mode. Number two, if you get a lot of comments on your channel or just any comments on your channel where you have to keep saying repetitive things or you wanna make list uh, playlists or something like that, all you have to do is use the clipboard feature on your phone, and it doesn't matter if you're on an Android or if you're on an iPhone. Let me show you. If you're on an Android, what you wanna do is you want to basically click in to reply to a comment, and then you wanna click your option right over here on the left for the actual clipboard. And from there, you can actually add things to this and so on by clicking the little pencil. But in this particular case, I'm just gonna say, I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Bam, I click on that, it goes in, I hit post, and then it's done. That can save a ton of time when you're answering a lot of comments or you have a bunch of repetitive things to say. Now let's do it on an iPhone. On an iPhone, first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're going to need to install an app called Pre-Typed Keyboard. Once you have that app installed, you can go in and you can just hit that plus icon right there and you can manually create all of these. As you can see here on this one, I have like a new subscriber, enjoying the videos, appreciate the content. I've also got some playlist links and a video link down here in the bottom so that I can quickly submit those to people for commonly asked requests on the channel. But to use this one, all you have to do is you just click on the actual comment itself. You click where you would actually reply and then you go down to the little planet and you long press it, you click pre-typed keyboard, and then it's gonna pull up all of the options that you have here. I'm gonna click on this one, the playlist tips for beginners, and then I hit submit and it's ready to go. As you can see, that can save you a considerable amount of time and it can make your comment efforts a lot more effective as far as sending people to other playlists, other videos, things like that. And it can save you a bunch of time when you keep making the same replies to similar comments. Number three, if you are interested in doing any type of voiceover for your stuff while you're driving down the street, while you are hanging out doing something else, as long as there's a quiet background. If you use a Rode Video Mic Me or a Rode Video Micro and you plug it into your phone, these things give awesome recordings for doing voiceovers. I've actually made an entire video on this and I will actually put a link to it right up here so you can go and check that out. At the end of the day, if you do a voiceover with something like that and you add it to your videos using something like KineMaster or PowerDirector or something like that that allows you to import audio and adjust it and all of that, it can make a really big difference in the actual audio quality of your voiceovers. Number four, of course, make sure that you're using the YouTube Creator Studio app just because as a management tool in general, it is absolutely amazing so make sure that you're using that on a regular basis and that you have that installed because it makes managing your comments and all that stuff a gazillion times easier than if you're doing it inside of the YouTube app itself. Number five, there are a ton of apps and tools and accessories and all that stuff that you can use on your phone to make better videos and to manage your channel and all that. I made a video about that. I'm actually gonna put a link to it up here so you can go check that out if that information is something that you're interested in as well. If you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.